Hello and how are you? My name is Mahid Dombarak and I'm coming to our third eighth lecture of creating a complete inventory management system. As you know, we always do 40 minutes, so shall go ahead and start our timer. Alright, so in the previous lecture, we stopped at the level whereby we are going to start creating the what? The stock uh, records. Okay, so let's go ahead. I mean, stock out records. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a stock out records. Okay, so first things first, what we're going to do, we're going to create a list of stock out records or the stock records. Uh, we be, okay, let's, let, let's begin by creating a model. How did we create the model again? The stock records model. I don't think stock record model. I have not created it. Okay. So let's go ahead and begin by creating our model stock records. So we shall come to our API. So we should not do mistakes. Let me come to our postman. And then we see how we named this model. So it's called uh, stock records, stock records here. And I'll go ahead and copy this uh, endpoint, which is called stock record. That's going to be uh, related to our class. So I'll go ahead and come here to our generator. I've created a generator and come here and say stock record model. And then come here and put stock records. And then come and put the input as stock record. So after doing that, I'll go ahead and generate the what? The stock record uh, class. After generating the stock record class, I'll go ahead and create a model for stock records. So I'll come here and say new file and say stock record that like this so that's our stock record model so I'll go ahead and copy this stock record model I'll come and paste it here so there you go so that's our stock record model so after creating after putting there a stock record model so the next thing that we're going to do right now is to is to do what is create the stock record screen uh, so let's go ahead and create the stock record screen okay the stock records list screen so I see that we're going to benchmark from the stock items because it's the one that has almost the latest things that we've just done. So we, can, we would like to benchmark from it. So let's go ahead and go to stock items. Let's go to stock items. Let's go to stock items. Where is it? Uh, stock items, stock items, stock item list. So we shall come here to stock item and they shall come here to stock item. Okay. So I'll copy this stock items, items screen and go ahead and paste it here in the stock uh in this folder that you created for stock records uh so go ahead and create the call this one stock what stock records like this stock records screen okay so after creating stock record screen i'll go ahead and press enter so you can have a screen there and then after doing so i'll go ahead and uh, press control f alt and enter and change this one to stock records screen all right so after doing that i'll go ahead and uh, we create our screen for we create our screen for for what we create a screen for for for, for that, that create screen for stock record okay so i'll come also and copy this stock item create stock item create i'll come and copy it and then i paste it in this folder of stock records i'll change this one to stock record create so the one that we're going to use for creating stock record okay and then after you press enter so this is a stock record create screen and then press here so yeah here we are so I'll go ahead and press ctrl f alt and enter and then paste there so we have stock record create screen all right so after doing that now let's go ahead and change this one from the stock item model we are going to change it to stock record model stock record model like this and then after i'll go ahead i'll just be like going back so i can maybe select it because i've copied this one eh? i've just put this one in the clipboard so i go back by undoing and then select this one stock item model ctrl f alt and enter so i can go to multi edit and then paste there so i have now stock record model here see go ahead and import it and then after importing it let me remove this error after importing it, uh, after importing it, we go ahead and remove these uh, few uh, conditions. I mean, few things that are not there. So I'll come and remove this one. I'll come and remove these error errors like uh, buying price. I think I shall put maybe we have something like uh, quantity. So we shall use that very one. We shall come back and modify. 
so let me go ahead and remove these other things such as this one okay let's go ahead and remove it and then this one also the image i don't think we have an image at the point of sales are you collecting the image of course no so let me go ahead and remove this logic of, of image because we don't need it okay so i'll go ahead and remove it i'll go ahead and remove it from here i'll remove that images part okay let me remove the image part so i've removed image i'll go ahead and remove uh, this sku also okay okay there i remove it okay so there i go i got maybe title okay i think that's it so that's it i think that's it okay so i'm going to link this stock record create screen to the stock to the stock records screen so i'll come here and put where there's stock item create screen press control alt and enter and paste there stock record create screen so that we should have this one when you're creating the item so here in the list of items here where there is items i'm going to put now stock record model instead of stock item stock record model like this and then i come and also remove this guy all right so we should be in the right hand so i'll come and also do the same here and also uh there is no image so this does not have image so i'll remove this leading one i'll remove this yeah so we have sorted that so now we're good to go uh now we proceed uh now where there is a uh, stock records all the stock items we're going to replace it with i mean we'll add there stock records okay stock records all right so I'll come to stock records here and come where there is stock records okay the stock records i'm going to okay we're going to get this class and add it to our main menu so we shall come to our main menu we shall come to our main menu we shall come to our main menu which is menu route here which is this one and then after we're going to go ahead and remove this uh we're going to go ahead and remove uh this what stock items and put there and more sorry and add not remove i just duplicate and say this is stock records screen and then i call this one stock records there you go okay so there we go so i have here stock records now when i click on stock records i'm able to go to this screen so I'll just come and change here the title from stock item to stock records. All right, so to stock records. So there we go. And now we go ahead and uh, and click on the create. So this is our stock item create screen. I mean stock record create screen. So let me press control and click here to go to the stock record create screen. I'll come and remove this one and say create new stock stock what stock record like this. So there we are. So we have their new stock record. So after doing that, I'm going to come here. I'm going to come here and say, uh, let's list out to our main list code here and then we begin. So the first thing is to select the stock item, okay? To select the stock item that you're about to sell, okay? So we have to select the stock item. So let's go ahead and select the stock item. Let's go ahead and select the stock item. So it's going to be much more of this, like the way we're selecting this. So I'm going to make sure, I mean, we're going to change this one to stock item instead. So let me come here and this, make this one stock item text, stock item text like this. And then come here and put also stock item text like that. Okay, stock item text. Uh, so we are going to change this one to stock items screen. So you can be able to select the stock items. So the stock items screen does not have a what does not have ability for pickers so let's go ahead and add that one there so i'll press ctrl and click on this to go to the stock items screen i'll remove this constant and then i come and just uh, copy like they already did here on uh, on the stock categories eh? so i just come and copy and then we have your param okay so map i'll come back here and put this one here then I come here to this and put this in the construct and put this dot what dot params okay so after putting this dot params so the next thing now we're going to do we're going to uh, uh check if there is uh, a picker enabled all right so let's go ahead and get this picker so I'll just come here and then come to this input and then put this one and then you just come and get this picker 
okay it's pick enabled we go ahead and put here this pick enabled like this and make it false so after doing so uh the next thing that we're going to do we're going to now go ahead okay so after selecting this is pick is enabled we go ahead and select the speaker and it is a picker is there so we have already explained this eh? if the picker is already said something that it is true we go ahead and say this is picker correct so let's go ahead and now go to the on item tab so we come here to the list tile and then we do when someone taps on the item it's already there i just check if it is picker i go ahead i say go back with what with the item that has been tapped on and they return okay so this is how you go back with this item that has tapped on and they return so in this side in this side in this side let's come back to this side or is it this side of create screen in this side of create screen this side of create screen this side of create screen this side uh we're going to be expecting what so this is the create screen so this is a place where we're waiting for the picker to select a what a, a stock item so here i'm going to be expecting a stock item not so category stock item model okay so that's what, I'll, that's what i'll be expecting expecting so I check here if it is not null i go and make sure this time i don't make mistake so this is going to be a stock what stock item id stock item id okay uh -huh. so after doing that so i'll get the id that has been selected and put this in stock item id and then here i'll come and put stock item text okay stock item text okay and then come and put the same text here and come and put the same text here okay i think now that is okay so there you'll be able to uh to select an item so this is an error on the home page since we have implemented the params and we haven't put them here so i'll come and put the params like this it's just empty ones because it's not a picker so there we go i think that, that that's good i think that's good let's save now let's try to select here select let's see it will take us to the stock items eh? so when i click on the stock items oh <laughs> it's not coming back why are we having an error you see there's some error let's restart our app There you go. So we click on stock items. As uh, we come to create, I mean stock records, create stock record. I uh, have select category. Click on select a category. I mean select item. So the one should be select uh, stock item, not select category. Select stock item that is going to be sold. We select it. Oh, there's something that is not right. Stock item model is not some type of stock item okay stock record okay so it's supposed to be stock item sorry stock item model like this yeah should be stock item model not stock what stock record because here we are looking for the item that is going to be sold all right so yeah let's run our app again should be stock item record item model not stock record okay so come here click on create stock item you select it is there it is set can you see that see select you can as well even add if you did not have okay so you can add here select the category select the name and then go ahead and put the manual or it's automatic and then go ahead and put the what the price and then come here and put the what the selling price and then come here and put there maybe the quantity and then come here and put maybe the details and then come here and put the image if you have it go ahead and do it i'm oh, sorry I don't know why this error keeps coming like this. OK, 
okay we shall fix it we shall definitely fix it okay let's try to select these serials let's see okay we shall see what is causing that error for now let us just select this item okay so stock item name all right sorry now uh, we have finished selecting the stock item so the next thing that we're going to select is uh, the type of uh, of uh, stock record out okay so let's go ahead and do that most of it of course will be a cell okay so let's go ahead and uh, do the type of stock out record so it's going to be a radio So I'll come and copy this radio group. Just want to reuse it. Paste it here. So I'm going to put here type of what of stock out. So this one call it stock out type. Stock record types. So, what are the available types? Have sell, damage. So, I can pick the one that uh, exactly in the what, in the back end, since you have access. So, we're going to have sell. So the first one is sell. So I can put here sell. Then another one is damage. Damage. Another one is expire. Expired. Expired. Another one is lost. So there you go, other. So those are types of what? Of cells. I mean, of uh, stock out records. So I have the description. I hope the description is already there. Uh, okay. And then you have the quantity. So uh, quantity uh, should be the next one. So it's going to be this is uh, stock items. I'm going to put this one quantity and put here quantity and then say quantity and then change this one to number and then put here stock record quantity all right so after doing that let me make it just required i'll go ahead and I think that's the whole form okay and then i'll go ahead and remove this other unnecessary fields so it can be uh, straightforward so I remove this one. Uh -huh. We remove the selling price. We remove the. I mean, we leave the quantity. Stock record quantity. Or can just simply put maybe quantity. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> selling price. We remove it. Uh, we leave description only. And then go ahead and remove this photos thing okay so this photos thing is here uh, because these are doing these photos so i can leave it remove it huh?
Okay. We remove this. Remove this photo part. Then that should be good to create a record. Okay, so that is how we're going to create records. So let me come here and select this item. And then I say it's a cell and I say maybe uh, 5 kgs and then say maybe some details. And then I go ahead and submit. It is successful. So you can see a stock record is there. It has been created. I can even modify it. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now, you're going now to let's get another one. Uh, so it will be good experience to keep the user on the same screen when they're creating what? Uh, stock records. Okay, let's come here. We keep them on the same screen when they're creating what? A new step, so stock records. Okay, so um, to do that, we're going to ask the user if they want to create another stock record. If they press OK, we reset the form and then allow them to create another record. Okay, or we can just simply show them the toast and then reset the form. Or we can just first show them the form. So we put here success. So instead of going back, instead of going back or instead of popping up, we're going to go ahead and ask the user. Uh, if they want to create a form, ask user if want if they want to create another record. Okay, so we're going to use uh, this pop up, get to the default, and then we show that the user the record has created successfully. Uh, do you want to create another record? So if they say yes, if they say no, we pop up. If they say yes, we reset this record and also we have to reset the form okay so have to reset the form have to reset the form okay so okay, let's first see what this reset will do so here it is so you see when it is successful, I do I show just a, a dialog. I have already shown you how to do that using get default and then as the user if they want to proceed or not. If they want to proceed, they just go back for us. I just keep on the same page. So let's go ahead and do that. So I come here and add an item, select my bits for sale, I put five and put some description and let's submit. Now I can see it has finished. Do you want to create another record? When they say yes, it's supposed to reset the form. They are you getting any error now? Uh, let's first see how we reset the form here immediately. Uh, Let's just reset the form here for just testing as we see. Uh, to reset this form, I think there is also another method. Okay. So this reset, and now I can clear everything. So I use form key dot state and then I put dot, dot patch and then I reset this one, I reset this one, I reset this one, I reset this one. Okay. So let's try and see. So this is how, how the patch does. So the patch and then the patch value and then you open bracket and then you, you reset the names of the fields that are in the form by making them whatever you want.
okay so let's go ahead and uh, add that one after the success okay so immediately after success we just reset before even show the dialogue because that data is already gone okay so there we go there we go so we come here so the customer will come i mean select this one so you can then put uh so expires there twice Okay, let me remove this one. Alright, so there you go. There you go. So now I can go ahead, select an item, enter quantity, enter some data, and then submit. So to process, you can see it reset the form. Do you want to create? If I say yes, it keeps me on the same one on the same page. Okay. Submit. Okay. Are well, they saying insufficient stock? So it is out of stock now. You get it, eh? So we can get this. Okay, so that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So this insufficient stock it is already validating for that. And you see, you want to create and I say yes. So why this yes needs to be pressed twice. Okay. Say yes, let me do here some pop up. I mean, I don't know why they need to be pressed twice <laughs> at this right on no, see. Okay, let me see why it's doing that. And there's not any error. Anyway, it is recording. It is recording. So you can see our stock records we are successfully recorded. And that makes our what? Our all uh, requirement modules, all the modules required. Yeah, that is not simple. Let me see which username I'm used here. I'm using John at gmail.com. Let's try and see. John at gmail.com. Password 4321. Four, three, two, one. Yes, I successfully logged me in as John on the dashboard. You see, these are my total sales today. You see, here yeah, you say that are done today. These are my number of employees. So if I come at employees, I should see five employees. Uh huh. Then. Okay, and then here, this is a what? This is our, these are my stock records. See these are stock records that we've just created right now. See? 
these are stock items that you have created you see what you uploaded from the mobile app you are able to see it on the dashboard these are the company is the company profile subscriptions yeah all that yeah 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 so everything is perfect and come here and edit even my company information see what you did the other side so if i remove this full stop here i come this side to my financial period the full stop is gone if i come and add it here uh, come and refresh one time two time the full stop is back all right that is so beautiful so that is how we do it that's how we do it and it is having offline capabilities okay so now we get to the next step which is designing the main dashboard how many minutes are remaining with remaining with 10 minutes yeah we can do something in 10 minutes okay uh we're going now to design a dashboard okay hope you're ready to design a dashboard with me let me just get here my paper and we design it together <laughs> okay we go we go we go 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 let's go let's go let's go okay maybe do we design a dashboard so we can use that very main menu we can use very main menu main menu all right so this is our main menu so we're having there a list style all right so uh, let's begin by getting the login user so this login user haha <laughs> the word do you know about login user mm -mm 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 -mm. trying to brainstorm how we're going to approach it begin let's go let's go 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 so let's begin so you can use this very list view so here begin on the top section mm, she did it in sections i think let us do it in sections so you can be a little bit organized so top section so is going to be like this we go ahead and create a top section so in this top section, I'm going to return a what? Eh? Look at this guy that you've done for me. Uh, I don't need that. Let me do my own things. Okay, so you're going to return a what? A, uh, let me just stop this guy because it's becoming too much. Yeah, disable copilot. For now because i want to just make my own design so let us go ahead and return uh, and return a what i return a column hmm? i return a row okay i'm designing a dashboard okay this row is going to have children all right so in this children we're going to have um a container that's going to have some width of 40 and then some height of uh, 20 of 20 <laughs> you can design your own dashboard let let me give you you can also design your own eh? let me give you this one color of uh, primary you no know, have that primary color my color is the primary yeah so uh let me give it a width of um of 10 Okay, there you go. And then let me remove this word main menu. I don't need it anymore. Okay, or we can just put we can put this we can put this one in the in 
the I can put this top main in the what in this up bar. I don't know whether that's a good idea. Okay, so there you go. So up bar is there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give this one height of uh, 25. Uh, maybe 10, I mean height of 30 maybe. And then maybe 35. And then give it some decoration. Decoration. And give some. I'll need this guy again. Let me bring this guy back. Because it helps me. Okay, decoration. So let me give that kind of ouch. So I have to remove the color. The color has to be passed inside the decoration like this. Okay, so I want to do something like that. Maybe the circular should be a little bit smaller. Nah, something like that. Three maybe. Yeah, something like that. All right, so I'm going to come here and put some uh, size. So it's a row. I'm going to put here size D width. Okay, we're designing the dashboard. Okay, so after doing that, so we're going to put here. Uh, we're going to put here the column. It's going to be a column. Uh, so here I want to put our app name. So it is it is dot what dot app name. Eh? Do you have some uh -huh. it is I put it is uh do you have an app name as a constant uh, you have a base url so I'll come here to utilities I have base url let us also put the app name okay application name which is going to be which is going to be inverter track Uh huh. Inverter track. Inverter track. That's going to be our app name. Inventory tracking. Maybe trying to be a little bit creative. Yeah, that's our app name. Inverter track, and then uh, we do need to give it some some style. Style, yes. Uh, let's give it some font weight. Of uh, bold and color of primary. Of bold and color of primary. No, let's give it just black. And then you give it like maybe like uh, 900. I mean, font w 900. All right, so there you go. 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 So it's uh, what? It's uh, a row. I mean, it's a column. So I'll come here below it and I put. Uh, Here, the name of a person is logged in. I can put maybe good good morning, the person who is logged in. Okay, so we can create a greeting function. Let's create a greeting function. Uh, come here to utils, and then come here in utils. We come here and uh, create a greeting function. So it's going to be a static function. Uh, it's going to be returning a string going to be start i mean okay static okay so the static there i say maybe greet and then say uh, greet according to the date time so i get here the date time and then i check if the hour i get the hour of the date time is less than 2 12 i say good morning it's less than 17 i say good afternoon it's less than uh, now this i say good evening and i can put maybe also maybe if it's less than if it's less than that good evening and then the rest will be good night all right 
right here so let's go to grid so i'll come here to utils and say utils get what dot grid I call the function good good whatever the person yeah like this so you see it is now good morning yeah because this time it is morning ah uh, yeah 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 what else what else what else um let me limit this line some people can have very long names so let me just limit let me put here the name of the person who is logged in eh? good morning john luck and then put here maybe line a line to start and then put here um, okay i think that's okay uh, let me just come here. Let me put maybe height. Then introduce on the height. The height is too big here. Can come here and give it height of one, so it can be there. Yeah, I think that's now fine. Uh, so let's come here uh, to column and give it cross alignment start main alignment start. Okay, there we go. There we go. So there we go. That's how simple. Um, Intro there. All right, so this so 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 can give it max lines to one and give overflow text. I mean overflow and give it ellipses. Yeah, that's it. That's that's enough. All right, that's it. That's our beginning of our menu. So we go we proceed. That's our top section. So I can create another section. We're going to call section two. Now we're going to put there maybe other things. All right, so that's it uh, for today's lecture. So we're going to proceed from there. We're going to design this landing page. Then after designing the landing page, uh, we go ahead and uh, do what? We go ahead and do the mastering of the entire application. All right, let's meet in the next lecture. Let's meet in the next lecture and we take it from there. See you. Make sure that you don't miss.